my cells obey my will. They dance with divine vitality. I am well. I am strong. I am a flowing river of boundless power and energy. Hi, I'm Omkar from Omkar Structural Body Works, and welcome to my YouTube channel. <coughs> Today, we're going to break out from the many things I show you and show you how to make bread. We're going to be working with a book called My Bread by a guy named Jim Healy, showed to me by Jyotish and Devi Novak many years ago. They still eat gluten, many yogis do, some are allergic to it. We're not going to deal with that issue right now because gluten helps bread rise and hold the loft. This is an easy bread to make, it doesn't require any kneading. You make it, it sits overnight for 12 to 18 hours, you pop into a very warm oven, and once you've done that, in 45 minutes you've got some beautiful bread. We've taken his recipe that it uses, adds olives to, the, to his recipe, at using it with whole wheat flour, and I've used 100%, so it's going to come out denser than a bread where you mix it at 50-50 with some white flour of some sort. I also add to it some kombu seaweed. Why kombu seaweed? Minerals. Iodine and other minerals are prevalent in kombu seaweed. A little bit of it can boost your immune system, elevate moods, and adds a very interesting texture to the bread. It adds a silky quality to the dough itself as it dissolves into it and adds a nice little chewy components to the bread. So we're going to need to chop up some olives, we need to chop up some kombu seaweed, we'll take three cups of flour, add three cups of water, one cup, excuse me, a cup and a half of water to it, water. We're going to add a bit of salt and, uh, and a bit of yeast, when you just use these handy packets, just open the package, dump it in there, mix up, let it sit overnight and then put it in a very, very warm oven, about 475, in this Dutch oven. Dutch oven is a camping oven. Usually you'd bury this in coals and it'd bake out in a fire. As it's, it moderates the heat from a 475 degree oven so that bread bakes very slowly, well, slower and evenly, but still gets a nice crust on it. You do need one of these. It's about 40 bucks new, maybe 50 might find it on you someplace. So, let's get started. <clears throat> the olives are packed in water with ferrous gluconate and salt. Well, ferrous gluconate is simply something people take for iron. So we're going to save that water <clears throat> and use that as part of the water we put in our bread. So, taking a convenient strain. Drain off the water, saving that to one side, we'll measure it and see how much there is and then make up for it, the rest of it with good filtered water. The chlorine doesn't kill you outright, it's not helpful for the body. In addition, if you use any kind of herbal supplements, especially ones of the Ayurveda world, they can have a component that can increase transfer of chlorine into your cell along with the minerals and vitamins that they're supposed to carry into it. And of course, chlorine inside a cell kills the cell. Those are your cells. Treat them appropriately. Let's slice up some olives. So we're looking one, for one and a half cups of roughly cut olives. And we simply put some on our cutting table, our cutting block. One and a half is roughly going to be about one can of olives. You could use Kalamata olives, you could use any olives you choose, so these are just your basic garden variety olives. That's about one cup. Okay. Now 
Now, seeing the knife didn't work, using scissors is a good idea. Tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, maybe of, of seaweed. Once we cut it up into fairly small bits, that aren't too obnoxious in your mouth. So to measure the amount of brine we added, this is from this around the olives, that comes up to about one cup. So we're gonna go for one and a half cups. seaweed freshman's active yeast Just shake it down so I blend it into the water first And we cover that with a dish towel of some sort. Let it sit in a spot that's not too warm, but not too cold, for six, for 12 to 18 hours. And we're just putting that in the oven there.
We're taking a very warm Dutch oven out of the oven. It, that's 475 degrees, so use good hot pads. And now we're going to put the dough into that pan. And now we're covering that very, very warm pan and putting it back in the 475 degree oven for 30 minutes with a timer on. And then we'll come back to it and take the cover off to brown the top for 15 minutes more. Notice that they're a nice 175 degree oven. So now let's take this out of the oven and then cover it. Look at that smoke coming off that. We'll put it back in for 15 more minutes. Take it out, it should be brown and ready to take out. See it has some holes in it, some airiness. Could have it a little bit more loft. There's a slight moistness to this. It's been in the oven for 45 minutes. Could have been in there slightly longer. It will need to be toasted to be really tasty. However, what we do find is when we break it, it breaks nicely. It has a very nice texture with a nice crust. So, what's that taste like when we eat it? Very savory, very nice. I'm Omkara for Omkara Structural Body Works. Pain-free strength and flexibility and good tasting bread. It's your birthright. Claim it.